Hey guys, Augs here. Thank you for watching. Welcome to the channel. And in today's video, I am going to take you to the memory land. The memory land of Sorry and Sorry Ball. And let me make it clear from the get go. I'm not here to put some digs on Sorry or Sorry Ball. I respect the guy. He won us Europa League and we finished third in the Premier League. What else can you ask more? He did the job that he was hired to do. Thank you, Sorry, and thank you, Sorry Ball. Anyways, it won't take away the fact that I always had hard attack in some of the games and some of the decisions that he was making. You are lucky to have me today because maybe I was going to die by that time. Exaggerating here just to put some spicy in the conversation, right? <laughs> Anyways, guys, so today we are going to discuss about one of the worst decisions that I've never seen in the world of football. So this is me talking as a Chelsea fan and not an individual fan. You know what I'm trying to do? I am trying to talk about my club and not an individual. Nothing against sorry, but this decision, I didn't get it. If you are intelligent enough to explain to me the idea be behind this uh, sub, you can tell me. So, long story short, we are losing at home in the FA knockout stage against Man United. 2-0 at the bridge. Okay? People been begging asking demanding for Giroud to be on the field or Callum Haston Adoy to be given a chance because we had nothing else to lose just throw Giroud out there put Callum Haston Adoy to cross the balls put everything on the ball forget about Sari ball and the beautiful tiki taka sideways backwards kind of football try to score a goal what Sari does he waited he waited and he waited again as usual. Boom! Eight minutes to go. This happened. As you can tell here, Zappa Costa on for Aspili Quetta. Oh my gosh. The world went crazy. Pandit went crazy. Chelsea fans in the stadium, outside the stadium, all over the world went crazy. I don't care if you are a sorry boy or you are a header or whatever you're gonna call people just feel free to do it but can anybody with a little bit of common sense explain to me what was going on through sari's mind at that moment few minutes left you are out of the competition you are putting another uh <laughs> fullback to replace a fullback when you have Kalim Haston Adoy and Olivier Giroud on the bench. People went really crazy. People wanted Sari out. They were ready to take Sari to the airport themselves. They say F Sari ball, F this and that. It was really crazy. And you can understand the emotion in the stadium. Can you really blame people? I don't think so. And you can see all the reactions here from people. Kano here on Twitter say, you just brought Zappa Costa, not Costa. Wow, that is very intelligent comment right there. CFC Daily said, when Sari put Zappa Costa on. You know, like no comment. Like, huh? What you just did? And we had all kind of memes. Football Daily. <laughs> Look. You know, all kind of memes about Sari and Sari Ball. It went crazy, man. And people were like, hey, we have enough of this guy. He need to go. And you can understand in the heat of the moment, people can say certain things. Not necessarily that they want Sari out, but it was like, this is enough. And yeah, all kind of memes, as you can tell. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was crazy. Let's read some of the comments here. Um, a Siri comedy said, I spent the whole night trying 
to figure uh, to figure that that what expired sari to bring in zapacosta i think that guy is deliberate is deliberately about ruining chelsea football club that's what he meant so george Benson. yeah everybody knows who george is in the community right so he said no matter what anyone says it is totally completely irrevocably unacceptable to be two nil down at home and bring zapacosta zapacosta on and leave Callum Huston Adoy uh, on the bench. Basically, that's what he wanted to say here. So you can understand um, the anger behind fans and all that. And yeah, man. So my question to you guys is like, be honest for once, okay? If you are a sorry fanboy, keep it for yourself now. Be the fan of the club for a while. What would you do if you were sorry at that moment? Okay? Would you bring Zapacosta on? Or would you bring Calum Haston Adoy or Olivier Giroud? I know this kind of topic is going to bring me a lot of hate, a lot of dislikes, and a lot of uh, comment and insult. But I don't care. I'm not criticizing anybody here. This is the reality. And the problem with the fanboys is that they are guru can't do any bad. Anything they will say is a yes, yes. It's just like the gospel. You know what I'm trying to say? I've been there. I've been supporting Moreno that way. He can't be wrong. But look what happened. You know what I'm trying to say? So I understand all kind of reaction and I don't care. I'm just bringing something on the floor for us to have a debate and to talk about our club. So I don't care. Feel free to do whatever you want. And we went really crazy. Yeah, as you can tell, man, people were saying F Kevin. <laughs> so even if you are a Sari fanboy and your guru can't do any wrong, I understand you and I respect your position because I've been there. So deep inside you you know the truth but you're not gonna accept it in public because of your ego come on i'm not gonna accept that my guru did anything wrong you have to blame somebody else right maybe just blame zapacosta for coming on the field himself right so blame maybe Kalim haston adoy for being young and naive you know blame olivier Giroud because he can't play sorry ball you know what I'm trying to say? So we always going to find something to defend our gurus. But the end of the day is about the team, is about the club. How many times I made videos in the past criticizing Frank Lampard, Tammy Abraham, Tomori, Mason Mount, Kalim Haston Adoy, Christian Pulisic. Everybody knows that I love those, uh, those guys. And... Academy product can't do any wrong for me. That's my biased opinion. But at the end of the day, I have to give them a fair critics. I made videos hammering them to the point where I lost it. But for other people, if you criticize their guru, and then they're going to attack you, they're going to call you all kind of names and tell you that they deserve respect. You're not respecting them. So for them, telling the truth means lacking respect. Wow. All right, guys. So that was just an interesting debate for us to have. Nothing to do. No football, no nothing. So we are just going back to our memory land sometimes and react to what happened in the in the past so feel free to comment and say whatever you want to say think outside the box and see you in the next one red leaves med saven om detta stay at home save lives we're all in this together keep the blue flag flying high hello from chelsea fc supporters club in aleppo city 
Hello from Beijing Supporters Club in China. Hello from the New York Blues in the USA. Stay home, save lives. We're in this together.